Well, hello there, guys. Good to see everybody here. Um, I think we're going to get started here on our Fantasy General 2 Let's Play, or I should say continue well, from where we left off before. <clears throat> We've got about two minutes until we're supposed to officially start, but I think we'll go ahead and just jump in right now um, because there's a few things I've done here that I want to show you guys um, without you guys essentially seeing it during the Let's Play. So namely, what I did was I upgraded some of our units. We actually upgraded some younglings to Axemen. We also upgraded some younglings to Berserkers. I love this Berserker class. Although they seem to be pretty squishy, they're excellent in terms of damage, of course. Uh, and we also upgraded two Maidens to Stag Riders. So the Maidens essentially are pretty good at, um, you know, sort of like Spearman units. Uh, it's going to be different to upgrade them to Stag Riders because these are essentially missile units. But... They've done really well for us in the past, so I think they're going to do pretty well for us in the future. Now, one thing we want to go into is going to be the Troll Woods, my friends. We've traveled all across Far Reach here. I mean, Far Reach has been a place that we have gone all throughout, and at this point, we are getting really to the Troll Woods. Now, so far, we've been fairly friendly with the Trolls. We've actually saved them a few times, we've helped them, but unfortunately, this is not popular with our other Barbarians. Um, they don't really trust trolls for good reason, probably. Uh, so I'm not sure if as we progress here into the game, whether we're going to trust them or not. We'll have to actually wait and see. Another really great thing is that Fellerson right now actually has a mount, uh, and this mount is a bear. So we can actually take a look here at the bear mount, uh, and you can see the different bonuses that this particular bear actually um, gives us. We can also use a mighty roar ability with the mount itself. We'll take a look how that uh, proceeds in game. All right, guys, let's take a look here. So I'm going to jump right in. Uh, I wanted to give it another minute or so until people get here, uh, but we will get started right now. It's just now hitting the time. So we will go into the Troll Woods. The Southern Troll Woods are wild and few dare to enter them. Escort your sister on a diplomatic mission to the Trolls. Trollwood is home to many of them, and they have become increasingly aggressive. I have convinced Father to let me travel deeper into the Troll Woods. I want to meet with Tira Quiet Earth, the troll shaman. She is a gentle soul, and I am sure she can help us make peace with the trolls. He will just let you go like this, blind woman alone, into the troll woods? Not like this, no. It took him a bit to get over what happened with the wise woman. He loves us both dearly, you know, and he hates to see that we have come to harm. But he is the chief of Clan Baliac, and his duty is to the clan first and foremost. He may not like it, but he knows it. No one can escape their fate. Let me at least come with you, then. I fear the trolls may not be as agreeable as you think them to be. And what do you know of the trolls, then, brother? Have you met one yet? So now we can actually trend the, tell the, or that we have befriended uh, some of them, and you're right. We need to find out what has angered them. And actually, so far, I don't think the trolls are downright evil. I actually think uh, they're just misunderstood. And if we can get them on our side, I think that's a very powerful ally, especially since we are still at war with a few of these barbarians. So let's put Fullerson and his sister right here, sort of in the middle. Um, we're just setting up right now. I'll get the Axemen over here, the Berserkers right in front. Uh, get the Javelin Throwers here, and as for the Missile Units, we'll try to keep them sort of here in the back. Um, I think these Stag Riders, they're so good that we can go ahead and put them right there in the front. Um, let's end deployment. And we're, what we're essentially going to do here... Um, is go ahead and pop a scouting ability that we have to sort of take a look at the area and see if we spot any enemies. Here we are then. The troll woods are just ahead. We haven't met any of the brutes so far. Maybe they have seen us and gone back to their caves. I told you, trolls are no brutes. We just don't understand their kind. They're bound to the land, nurturing it and living with it. Every tree cut and every log burned angers them. They see us as a blight on our land, taking more and more of it. You will see their true nature when we meet Tear Quiet Earth. I have seen their true nature well enough when they crush my kin's skulls with their bare hands. Don't tell me how we have done them wrong. Right, so like I said, unfortunately our barbarians, they're not very trusting of these dwarves. So convincing them uh, to uh, allow these dwarves to live and more importantly to be our allies is going to be a little challenging. Um, I'm going to say... We don't know why the trolls act this way. We'll try and find Tyr to find out. This way, I don't think I'm directly challenging my guy. And that actually worked out quite well because um, certain questions that you answer in this game will give you a negative opinion with your men. Um, and actually, their morale will fall a bit. So the way I answered there, I was sort of saying, listen, we don't know yet. Let's, let's find out. I didn't downright just say he's wrong. 
Uh, but first, before we do anything, I want to go ahead and grab Elsa the Blind. And despite being blind, she's got a beautiful spirit vision ability here, guys, uh, that we can pretty much just use to take a look at the surrounding country. First of all, actually, before I do that... Oh, too late. Okay, we already popped the spirit ability. That's all right. Um, They're trying to prevent us from reaching Tyr to talk to the trolls. We must not let them stop us. So as you can see, with our spirit ability, we have a perfect view on the enemy here. Hey, Jeculus, how you doing, bud? Uh, let's push forward here. I'm not sure if there are any enemies over there on the left side, though. So I think we should be... We should approach with caution. How about that? I uh, definitely don't want to go on this land bridge right here on the river. As you can see, it's minus 25 uh, damage for any units that are here. So we essentially wouldn't really do much damage. I would love for them to make the mistake of crossing, though. And just waiting that possibility, I'm going to send some archers over here. Really, some slingers. Now, we have another ability, um, now that we have that new mount, I'll show you guys that ability here in a second. Let's move up. And so now that we have this mount, we have the Mighty Roar ability here, and this lowers the morale of nearby enemies. So ideally, I want to use Fellerson's Mighty Roar ability when there's a lot of enemies nearby, like right here. Uh, the problem is, we'd have to get really close to them, and I'm not sure that's the wisest thing to do right now. So I'm just going to stay away from the river tile, and keep on pushing forward get some of these javelineers over here. I'll also send Elsa the Blind with this group next turn. Um, yeah, we could send some more archers, but I think I'm going to put them here. And with our stag or stag riders, I'm actually not going to go here because we've got a famished dire bear. That's a hungry bear. That's something I know from personal experience you don't want to go near. That's how I lost my left leg after all. All right, so let's see. Hmm. I think for now we just want to wait. We've essentially moved everybody. Um, let's end the turn. Now, we have enough units so that we can't actually purchase any more right now. Um, as you can see up here, our supply is completely full. I believe if we lose a unit, though, uh, we might be able to uh, drop one up here. Although, I don't think this necessarily counts as a settlement. But this is the supply area where we dropped. So, maybe we can, but I'm not counting on it. Let's end the turn. They're getting braver and braver, and at this point, they put themselves right there on that tile, which I didn't want to get on. This could give us an opportunity to really do some damage. It looks like they are just as big fans of Stag Riders as I am. There we go. Okay, let's see if the Famished Dire Bear... Oh my goodness, guys! The Famished Dire Bear is actually attacking the enemy. Uh, this is a blessing in disguise. I might actually head back. I don't even think I want to mess with that. Let's go this way. And we're going to really try to cross the river over here, which I think we, we totally can. Um, let me bring Elsa the Blind forward first. We could use that um, Spirit Vision ability again over there, but I don't think we should use it just yet. Uh, in a couple of turns, though, we'll, we'll pop it over here somewhere. And let's see if we can get a nice shot. So as you can see here, guys, this is a decisive attack, primarily because it's a missile attack. So we've got 32 damage against the enemy. If we hold control to get some extra um, details, uh, we can actually see here that this is a missile attack specifically. Um, and the enemy has no influences really defending it. So we're going to go ahead, open fire, and boom, beautiful. I think my Berserkers can finish this unit off or get really, really close to finishing it off. Uh, but I was kind of thinking of going at it in an even more fun way. Let's do this. So we're going to take our Stag Riders, get a nice uh, magical shot here. And the goal is to eventually upgrade these Stag Riders to a much stronger unit. And specifically, the one I want to upgrade them to is the Stag Lancer unit. As you can see, these are just almost Amazon Knights. Really, really strong. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. We've got to wait just a little bit. All right, let's finish them off. I want these Berserkers to do well in combat. And there we go. Another group of enemies down. Now, Fallerson is tough enough to go ahead and forge a, a will of his own, especially since he's got his bear friend. So let's send Fallerson to go ahead and attack uh, the enemy here. I think I'll also bring up these archers. I was hoping we could put them on one of these other tiles to send even more units across. But if not, we'll be okay. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with this. If that if that bear is going to attack them, I'm more than happy to let it do that. I wouldn't 
generally recommend uh, going across river tiles like this, guys, but I don't see any enemies in our way, so I think we'll be safe. And avoid a bear attack. Alright, there we go. I love to see them, <laughs> Clan Musniak, actually attacking bears. Unfortunately, yeah, I didn't think it would have any units that could uh, push us across, uh, but apparently they do. Uh, luckily, our units actually fell back there, didn't take any damage, and now we've got the enemy unit on that river tile. Maybe we can make this work in our favor, sort of using the elements to defeat the foe. Okay, that wouldn't be so effective. What about our javelineers? Not too. What about the good old-fashioned um, Lenar Spear? So the whole reason that I'm going to send this unit in is simply because he's or I should say she is not going to take any damage here, as we can see. Be a pretty uh, decisive attack. But i got to say, these these uh, Axemen are pretty tough. So it's going to take more than just that to knock them down. Let's send Elsa the Blind in here. Time to use these Javelin Throwers. And I want to see what I would upgrade these to next, which would be the Iron Javelins. Ooh. That'd be a lot more effective here. I'm going to fire over here first. I want to make sure that we can wipe this unit out. And I think we can, especially with one more attack by Fallerson. Hello, Windek. Good to see you, buddy. So, it's funny, um, because we were initially going, like, complete murdering clan... Um, but, you know, we have this situation with these trolls, and, and I was thinking, I was like, come on, in everything I've known about trolls, they're almost always evil, so we're gonna support the trolls here in an effort to be evil, and we ended up being kind of the good guys so far, I think. Would everybody agree, or are we still going the bloody, um, barbarian route? I'm s I don't think we can, honestly. So let's finish these guys off. One more throw should knock them out. And because of that, we've also disor disordered this unit, sort of a morale check on the Axemen. Uh, and I think that's a perfect opportunity to charge in here. We've got them trapped on that tile. Let's see if we can completely destroy them. They've also got the harassed ability. And once we... Uh, just going to show you these thumbnails, guys. I think that's quite important. Um, this essentially shows what this ability does to the enemy unit. Um, so it lowers their armor and modifier. It, it obviously increases damage that we do to them. They're also on a river. This lowers their damage as well. And they're disordered, which also lowers the damage they do. Uh, we've got this unit in a really bad spot. Let's put it that way. Now, I was hoping we could finish it off totally this turn, but I don't think we're going to be able to. I think we might have to wait till next turn uh, to kill him. But we will go ahead and fire another shot over. All right, 65 viewers, good to see you guys. Pleased to uh, see everybody here. All right, let's end the turn. And of course, our goal here is to visit Tier Quiet Earth. All of our heroes have to survive, that goes without saying. But so far, I think nature has really taken care of Clan Masniak so far. Yeah, they're going to try to escape. I'm not going to allow that to happen. I don't want them uh, camping out and getting back any sort of health. So let's actually send our javelin throwers to get the job done. They deserve it. Ooh, I thought for sure we would have destroyed them there. All right, I'm going to have to send in Linar's spears. It's kind of funny because despite being called Linar's spears, this unit, uh, you know, a long time ago, we upgraded it to a skirmish cavalry unit. So it's it should be called Linar's javelins, but we can't quite change the name yet. Um, we've got to get to actual level three to change it, and then we can, we can get a new name for those guys. But we might keep Linar's spears just for fun. All right, feller son. It's time for you to show your worth. And I think once we get here, I'll use the roar. See if that ability actually helps us here. Okay, let's see. Getting quite close. Hmm. It's a little risky, but I really want to use that ability. Oh my goodness, look at all these enemies. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to do the mighty roar. We have disordered some units, so of course that's going to lower their damage output. And want to try to damage as many of these guys as possible to minimize the damage done to Fellerson next turn. So first I'll send in some Stag Riders. Got some defensive damage done to us. Send in the Archers, of course. Disordered that unit as well. We really have to be aggressive now and move forward 
quickly. Um, I'll set the blind. We can also move up. And I think for these stag riders, ideally I'm going to put them over here and camp them out because we can get them back up to normal health pretty quickly. Alright, let's just hope that they're not too brutish with Fellerson. They could kill our actual mount if they choose to, uh, but that also depends on the amount of damage they do here. And they're still fighting that dire bear, which I find hilarious. Uh, unfortunately, if that dire bear is that tough that it's taking on three or four units, we might have to deal with it eventually ourselves. So let's let's be careful and let's not count our blessings too soon. Okay, so first things first, let's pepper him with arrows. Let's go right here. We'll also see if Fallerson has any new abilities, um, but I don't believe so. I believe our primary ability is the Mighty Roar. We don't currently have any unit skills to spend. Hmm. Even the enemy is terrified there at Fellerson, and we just routed that unit. Go ahead, open fire once again. Can we get our Axemen all the way over here this turn? I believe we may be able to, but we might risk a bear attack here. Nonetheless, we can't be seen as weak. We've got to keep pushing. Yeah, this unit's going to have to just relax for now. Let's uh, rest him. He's resting in a river. And we'll push forward over here with Lenar Spears. As for the Javelin men we could potentially actually wipe this unit out. It's a shame we can't get a unit actually inside the city this turn, or the settlement, uh, because we could begin to go ahead and raid this settlement. Oh, beautiful. Our barbarians are doing well. Now, this is another unit we have here um, with the charge attack on the shock infantry, specifically the barbarians. We haven't used it yet, but we could try it. Um, so why don't we take a look here? Now, if we charge these guys, we do a lot of damage. I think it's better to charge this unit here. Let's get rid of their archers. And that's going to be the Barbarian Berserker Charge. Let's see what's going to be the next upgrade. That's going to be the Cleaver's Magical Shock Infantry, or we can go for the Werebears. And I love these Werebears, guys. Just look at this Metal Claw and the damage it does. Uh, the actual health of the unit is absolutely excellent. They've got great armor but I think it's going to take a while for us to get up there. Still, we can dream. We can certainly dream. So far, we can't move anybody into that town, so they might take the settlement back, but of course, once we take it, we will be burning it down. Can she move in? I don't believe so. However, Elsa can move over here and do some damage to one of these other units. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Unrest. Most of us. Yeah, no charge on this one. We're trying to be somewhat more careful um, than we were in the first part of the Let's Play. So we're really just checking all these positions and making sure we are in the perfect place uh, in every situation. Now, unfortunately, the Dire Bear is going to be our problem now. Before it was the enemy problem. Wait a minute, it's still attacking the enemy. <laughs> Should we even attack the Dire Bear, guys, or, or see if we can befriend it? I mean, crazier things have happened so far. We befriended giants. Maybe this is a possibility. Okay. Hmm. So I will go ahead. Uh, and once again, if we just take a look over here, another reason that this is a good attack. Uh, if you guys look at the right-hand side of the screen, it's going to be a flank attack. We're also doing armor piercing. All of this is going to increase the chance of a victory, of course. But especially when you get that flank attack ability, unless, of course, your, your guy is extremely weakened, I would recommend probably taking it. So let's go ahead and get the flank attack with our hero. And I think we can actually just finish them off with Elsa. I'm actually going to try and rest our Berserkers. I really like this unit. I don't want them to be too damaged, but yeah, that Dire Bear, man. I don't expect he's going to be friendly, but we'll soon find out. Now, we can actually spend some gold here um, to refill the actual unit's ranks. Um, and this is a really cool ability, because as long as we're in a settlement, we can do this with any units that have lost uh, characters. 
Now, so far, I think that we may have lost some characters with the Berserkers. So I'm thinking that what we might do is actually send these Berserkers in uh, instead of the Javelin Throwers. But we really have no choice right now. We've got to use the Javelin Throwers. We can't just make them leave. Uh, let's see any upgrades that we can do later. And, of course, it's going to be the Iron Javelins. Uh, maybe we just go for a standard... Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to attack the Dire Bear. The unrest cure says he is famished. Feed him the bodies of your enemies. Uh, that's a great idea. Okay, I think you know what he wouldn't. He wouldn't like Clan Masniak's meat. They just, they're not very tender. They're they're kind of kind of disgusting meat. All right, so let's hope that the bear does, doesn't attack. So I'm almost certain he will because I think he just is part of the natural landscape. But you never know. So let's end the turn. No, he's not going to be friendly at all. We should have known better. We certainly should have known better. Uh, that being said, we'll move this guy back. We can't heal him this turn, but next turn we can. And I think before we go after the enemy, we should potentially go ahead and kill that bear. Uh, also because we can take these axemen, go to the settlement, and uh, actually, you know, purchase some more axemen. Now the thing is, we're, we're barbarians, guys. We're, we'd much more prefer to go ahead and just hit that raid button and get some some gold out of this we've got 747 gold we might also get some weapons or armor out of it i'm just gonna wait a little bit try to upgrade some units and then i'll consider it um i think fullerson is gonna be the one that's strongest to take out this bear so let's send in our hero himself besides he's got a bear mount i mean what more could you want let's see And maybe another shot. Oh, yes, we finish him off completely with this next shot. But before we do that, you know, we're going to have to wait one turn with our poor Axeman. All right, let's just go ahead and finish off the uh, bear. I was hoping we wouldn't have to take this other missile unit away from here, but look at that. Quite good. We've got plenty of ammo as well with these slingers. We've got some nice def uh, defensive fire, and were faded. The units sacrificed one of their own, but the gods now smile upon them. So this actually increases morale. I just think that's great. So as you lose some units, you might get some nice upgrades. Hello, Mike Bravo. How you doing, buddy? Let's see if I want to move anybody else up and chase the enemy. Yeah, I'll bite. And actually, this is a good idea. Our slingers just crushed yet another one of their units. We should be finding these trolls fairly soon. Um, not sure exactly when we're going to locate them, of course. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get in the rough ground here. I don't want to get too close to the enemy and get them in a situation where they can hit us from all sides. Uh, I'd rather just move up kind of cautiously. But if we can get a missile attack on them, that's a whole nother story. So here, a decisive attack, and because we are actually using magic against a unit with low morale, we're going to get a bonus uh, just for that alone. They're already routing. They are terrified of good old Elsa the Blind. Push over the missile units. We'll go over here. I'm not sure if there are any bears or other kinds of wildlife in these woods. There could be, so... Let's be careful walking past the, the forest in this area. All right, I'm going to use Elsa's ability here um, just to take a look at what's ahead of us. So let's drop it over here, although I'm actually guessing that we're probably going to need to head south. So I think maybe we use this ability here in the southern area. And sure enough, look at that. Tier Quiet Earth. That's who we have to find. That's where we want to go, folks. So let's start heading towards Tier Quiet Earth. I'm going to be careful here because, as you can see, just as I expected, we do have some ability, or some some enemies uh, near these woods, and we want to obviously use as many abilities as possible to weaken them. So let's go ahead, just open fire. Um, we could get an attack with the Berserk. Oh my goodness! This is why I adore these units, guys. Watch this. Our Berserkers are going to completely smash the enemy. Absolutely amazing. Definitely proud to have them as members of our clan here. Alright, let's push them forward. Get 
good old Fowler's in here as well. This guy's going to stay behind uh, to protect this settlement. Yes, the enemy can retake settlements. We don't want that to happen. And also, he needs to sort of boost himself up just a little bit. He's not quite strong enough right now. Now, funny enough, you can give artifacts even to common troops, but really, we've saved our artifacts for our hero units, and I think we should probably keep it that way. Also, I don't believe you can give common troops mounts. Uh, not sure that would work out. Now, what do you guys think? Do we send a few more boys to go up there and see if they've got a base, or do we just ignore that and continue on the mission? It's a tough choice. Tough call. First of all, let's get rid of these uh, wolves. And once again, the attack that hurts us the least is always the best attack. There we go. Let's get over here near Dear Quiet Earth. Hello, sir. As you approach the moss-covered cave, a sense of tranquility overcomes you. Not far from the cave, you can see an ancient stone circle, aglow with the power of the spirits. A giant troll ducks out of the cave and looks at you with glazed eyes. Her long black hair is adorned with leaves, and she wears simple cloth made from tree bark. Slowly, wearily, she turns her head to stare at you. I am Tyr Quiet Earth, spirit talker of the Wood Tribe. Who are you? Why are we talking to the monster? She seems distracted. Now is our chance to attack, our berserker says. Hold your tongue and your weapons or lose both. My name is Elsa. I am the shaman of Clan Baliak. I am honored to meet you. We are envoys from our clan and seek to know why your tribe has been leaving the woods and attacking our people. You say come in peace, yet you have brought weapons to my wood, just like troll killers. Have you come to murder my tribe as well? I'm going to let him know, and uh, we've seen this before, um, that I have helped your kin against my own when it was just, and I will do so again on my honor, but we need to talk. You know, I think maybe for a barbarian, that's a little too friendly. Um, I'm going to say we can make peace or we can fight. The choice is yours. My sister believes you want peace. Will you prove her wrong? And I think this is also going to go better with my men. Again, as I said initially in this um, second part of the Let's Play, uh, my men, unfortunately, don't like trolls whatsoever. And I think this is a fair compromise. No need to threaten me, human. Forgive me. My mind has been troubled. The voices, they keep getting angrier. They are loud. So loud. Voices. The spirits are talking to you. The spirits are talking to everything. Humans just forgot how to listen. But trolls hear them, speak to them, feel them. They are roaring with anger. This is driving my people to madness. It clouds my mind. Then what are the voices saying? Why are they so angry? I don't know. I've tried to help my people, heal them, but they don't feel any anymore. These are terrible tidings. We had come here hoping to find a way to make peace with your kin. Is there no hope for that? I am not their leader, human. Trolls do not follow a chief. Our bond is with the land. When the voices stop shouting, trolls will listen again. Then we will need to find out why the spirits have been angered. Will you join us here? I'm sure we can find the root of this together. The root? Yes, we go to the root. I can see the voices are strong around you. Maybe you are right. I must not be quiet anymore. I must rise. Drive who did this from my forest. With a roar, the massive troll rises up and shakes her fist to the heavens, bellowing a challenge. The ground shakes as she stomps deeper into the forest, bristling with anger. I hope she never forgets wh who her allies are. I would not like to be the target of her wrath. I can't agree more. Definitely want to keep these uh, trolls on our side. And so far, we've managed to do that without pissing our, our uh, actual clan members off, which is great. Um, because, again, they're not going to trust these trolls very much. We actually also just got a stone skin bonus. Let's take a look at this. This is new, my friends. So plus one armor. So I believe just by working with the trolls here, our men uh, and women have gotten uh, just a little bit stronger. That is really cool. That's a good guess, Wendek. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Um, I have played a bit farther than this mission. I'm not going to give any spoilers to anybody. Don't worry. Um, but uh, I don't think I've gotten to anything resembling that. Well, let's just keep playing the Let's Play, shall we, folks? All right, so I am leaving this town behind. Um, I should have gone back. Uh, shame on me to heal these guys, but we'll give them a campfire. Although, if we go back here, we could potentially get some more units. Another problem is that, again, if any enemy units get back here, they can retake this settlement. So, another thing we might do is just go up here and burn the settlement down, just to make sure the enemy doesn't get it. 
uh, might be a good idea. Now, as for our troll, I'm not sure I want to move forward just yet, because we don't really know where we're going, and I think we want to use my sister's skill here, um, Elsa the Blind skill, to maybe take a look down here and see if, uh, if there are any other enemies. Let's go ahead and see if she can use it over here. Okay. I'm just seeing wolves. Not seeing anything down here, just camps. Uh, this is a blood oak. We might want to go over to the blood oak and take a look. Might not be such a bad idea. Alright, let's go. Yes, we are in the water, but I don't expect anybody's going to attack us here. And I think Clan Maliak, our enemies, are in the northwest of this map. Oh boy. Didn't expect him to do that. It's okay. We'll get our revenge. I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, the angry earth here. And he's got some abilities too, so grow trees. We can grow a permanent patch of forest near a target area, allowing units to hide in it. That's a really great ability, especially if you're like out on open terrain. Uh, and we've got the Earth Armor. Call upon the Earth to engulf a target with a protective shell. Uh, that's really great, again, if you want to keep a unit safe. Currently, we don't really need to do either of these. We're just ready to attack, attack, attack. So first things first, I'm going to charge that wolf. See if we can't finish it off right now. As for this unit, they could use a little bit of rest. Let's let them rest. This unit, yeah, boys, head back home. And we are going to try and restore the squad here. Next turn, we will torch that area. It's always nice to have a settlement, but we don't really need settlements. We're barbarians. We get along just fine with what we've got on our backs. Don't need no stinking settlements. And I'll definitely go with a t an attack here from Fallerson. Now, again, we could use our bear's mighty roar skill, but considering we're just facing one enemy unit... Maybe not a uh, not a good idea. Oh, Wendex saying we can raid this turn. So even though we are going for the um, the restore squad ability, uh, cost zero gold, we can apparently also raid. Now the question is, do we want to or do we want to keep this settlement? No, I think we want to raid it. Let's get rid of this place. Have fun, boys. And let's end the turn. So again, quite a lot of wildlife here. I actually want to almost use Elsa's ability again, uh, the Spirit Vision. Try and look a little farther down south. But I think that would be a little too far, so why don't we try right there. Blood Oak must have importance. Um, maybe not, but either way, we'll take a look over there. We could also get another shot over here next turn. Uh, but let's focus on getting rid of these Angry Wolves. First thing I'm going to do, get Fullerson over here on this side. He could actually use some health himself. So I'm not going to have him attack that unit. And I'm also not going to attack with the Angry Earth here against these wolves right, right now. Because as you can see, despite being a favorable attack, uh, it does seem that obviously they're going to get a bonus from being in the woods. Uh, and they're going to do a little bit of damage to us. So I, I'd rather not do that. Oh, cheers. So normal rest will be enough. In other words, all we're dealing with here is not a loss of men. It's just the health bar on top. thought we might have five good old axemen. In this case, I'll go ahead and rest on the remains of this burned out village. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Um, Let's get a shot with Lenar Spears here. Get a second shot here with the Stag Riders. Well, the second group of Stag Riders. Remember, guys, we have two groups of Stag Riders on this particular map. And that's going to be a kill for the Slingers. Absolutely wonderful. Now the question is, do we potentially want to go ahead and uh, rest a turn or two? Just a turn or two? Take a look here at the a nice close-up of the Angry Earth. These trolls, it's sort of like a very giant trolls. They are absolutely terrifying, but they don't seem to be all that bad. I'm not sure I want to go back in the water after that last error, so 
despite it taking us a little bit longer, I'm going to go the long way here. Our berserkers are fine. Let's get them back into the fray. And also, guys, if you want to just skip clicking, you can also just press the end button um, to essentially find out uh, or to move to the next unit. All right, let's end the turn. So I definitely have to rest Fallerson. And I'm going to use um, Elsa's skill once again here. Let's pop to the left. Not sure if it's a little bit unfair that she gets to use this every turn. Because it's a pretty great skill. I wonder if it's possible that what we're dealing with is in the northwest. I don't think so, though. We're going to keep on heading southeast for now. Also want to go ahead and capture that camp. The camp has been raided. Everyone's slain. But these tracks have not been made by trolls. Men did this. Men with armored feet. Now that sounds oddly a lot like the Empire. Misniak bandits, no doubt. Take what you could find. The dead will have no use for it. All right, so we just received our first artifact, guys. Artifacts are items of varying power that can be outfitted to units via the inventory. If a unit finds an artifact, it equips it directly if it has an empty artifact slot. Otherwise, the artifact is sent to the inventory. Open the inventory to manage all your artifacts and assign or recover them from units even while in battle. Um, so right now, the Slingers have a mana elixir, which uh, consume, grants 10 mana when used, but we don't really need this. Um, unfortunately for this particular unit so we could simply select another unit uh, and give our mana to that one now, I'm trying to think I think Elsa could certainly use mana but she doesn't have an open artifact slot um, no other real units that use mana Lenar Spears here does you use light magic javelins but I don't think that would count so for now we're just gonna let these guys kind of hold on to this I think it's a bit of a strange uh, elixir for them to be carrying here we go Oh boy, good to see everybody. We've got a nice nice little group of viewers here, guys. Good to see everybody. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm not sure. I can't promise that uh, the team um, has actually... The team, the Fantasy General 2 team has actually shown up today. Uh, but please also feel free to ask questions here in the chat. If I don't answer them, somebody else will. So, uh, Wendok's saying, man is global. Isn't it the number in the upper left corner, which gets reduced by one when you cast the vision spell? And also another thing is I think you start off with a designated amount of mana uh, at the beginning of the actual battle. So in other words, I'm pretty sure you can run out of mana with people like Elsa the Blind eventually. So maybe we want to give it to her, but that would mean temporarily taking off the Astral Band. Yeah, we could. Let's wait a little bit, but that's certainly something we could do eventually here. Now that we found the actual evidence here, though, I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe, just maybe, um, there's actually stuff going on over here. So that's where we're going to head to now. Pretty much just headed, keep heading uh, southeast. That's where my first inclination to go was. I, I could still be wrong, of course. And I think our axemen have gorged themselves on free food for, for long enough. Let's bring them over as well. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. Oh, interesting, Wendy. I see what you're doing. Okay, so in other words, boys, if we can go ahead and use the mana here, it will pull up no matter what unit actually uses the bottle itself, um, whether it's a magical unit or whether it's just a standard unit. So we could go ahead, drink the mana elixir. The mana elixir. Um, I think we want to go ahead and get an attack. I'm hoping we can get an attack and drink at the same time. Uh, it's a free action, so I believe we can. Uh, just to see if it works, we'll do that, and there we go, some additional mana, I like it, I like it very much, and we can still attack, that's my favorite part, one thing I'm going to do though is move my slingers over here into cover, open fire, and um, perhaps if we can get another group of archers or slingers over here soon, then we'll move them in as well, that might not be a possibility this turn. Uh, let's get Elsa up for sure. All right, so we'll keep her back here so that she, again, doesn't get attacked. But I think we can get rid of these wolves this turn. 
Angry Earth, sorry. I know you don't like to kill uh, forest creatures, but you've got to make an exception for these wolves. And there we go, man. Elsa again. I think she just got a skill upgrade. She did indeed. So we can grant her an additional artifact slot in case we find something else, maybe even a mount. Um, we can also give our ancestors guidance. Call upon the ancestors to protect the target. And this would add three morale and two armor to the specific target. Uh, the speed of wind, this would um, grant the speed of wind skill, which gives us a 33% chance to retreat and plus three speed. Of course, I'm assuming if we have to get away quickly, this is a great skill to use. And we've got the rune bound. This would increase the mana we get at the start of the scenario. I'm pretty happy with every single one of these, but I think I'm going to go for the ancestor's guidance. Um, this way, if we've got any unit that's surrounded by the enemy, etc., we can maybe pop the Ancestor's Guidance on them uh, and potentially save them from certain death. I think that's going to be it for now. Ooh, we could still move forward here with Fallerson. All right, Fallerson, be careful. Give me one second, folks. All right, there we go. Should we pop um, her ability once more? Elsa the Blind's ability once more, guys. I think we'll wait next turn. Um, we do have the mana for it, of course. Maybe go ahead and see if she can spot anything else out here. Hey, Wavel, good to see you, bud. So we're going to work our way over here to the Blood Oak. Since there's more Blood Oak, I, I'm not sure it's going to have much of an effect. We could also be a little more unsafe and start heading southwest too, uh, just to pretty much cover all our bases. Although I'm not sure separating our people is a good idea. Ah, there we go. More trolls. Will they side with us? No, they have lost their root trees and become wild. In their rage, they will attack anyone. Can't you talk to them and calm them down? Their spirits are beyond my reach. The pain has driven them mad. Like humans, not all trolls are friendly to one another, you know? Okay, so we have found a, a mean troll here. <laughs> Definitely concerning, because if we take a look at his movement ability, he can reach these berserkers and deliver a very decisive attack. So um, we are going to be sending some units over here. But man, I think we might have just found some bad guys. I'll actually go ahead and use the Spirit Vision. We can also potentially use the Ancestor's Guidance on that unit. Give it a little extra defense here. So maybe this is where we have to go. It might still not be. I think we should still keep searching in the, in the uh, southeast of the map. Could also be in the northwest where we thought that the uh, enemy clans were. So I think next I'll pop um, a sort of signal right there. Let's take a look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab Ilsa, and I'm going to pop a sigil, signal in the upper northwest area. Now, this is where the actual map ends, I believe, so I'm not sure we're going to find much. Yeah, definitely not. I would guess this area is pretty clear. There's not much up there. Although, is that a settlement? There could potentially be a settlement there. You know what? I can't help myself. Curiosity killed the cat. I'm sending a unit up there. Now, next thing on our list, we attack this um, sort of enraged troll here. This troll has lost all sense of, uh, of just, just decency. He doesn't care who he attacks. We want to go ahead and finish him off. And our leader, Fellerson, has already killed his fair share of trolls. Thank you for following us. Maybe we'll send um, the Light Magic Skirmisher Cavalry up here to the north as well, just in case. Although we're cutting it close, separating these people all over the place. This is not necessarily a good idea. Uh, I'll make one more push down here. 
cut down blood oak. See, that's definitely something that would upset a troll. And we're fairly close enough to each other that we could respond if need be. So, um, this game, um, Kairosote, is actually, um, sort of a, a sequel to a very, very popular game, uh, called Fantasy General, uh, which is quite ancient, uh, by, by, by most people's standards, still an amazing game, and so this is, I guess, a more modern, uh, updated version of, of that. Here we go, the Berserkers get the kill again, I love it, uh, but still, what is this? A troll hurler? My goodness! <laughs> I was wondering what was doing that tremendous damage. Okay, let's take the mana pool, first of all. I think we just need to be really careful here and not get crushed by stones. There we go, I sent he gave us a year. Uh, Fantasy General from 1996. Gosh, it feels so long ago. Feels like just yesterday I was playing. You stare in horror at the scene. The spirit tree has been cut, red sap seeping from its stump like dark blood. Around the tree you can see tracks of iron-shod shoes. This... this is sacrilege. Don't they know what this does to the spirits? This is a terrible sin. The root tree, dead. Without it, the wood will die. Trolls will die. We cannot make new life without root trees. I will kill the defilers. Trolls are shagging trees? I always thought that was elves. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, he's not happy about this. Not one bit. Yeah, we're going to have to wait one turn before we can actually attack that area. Let's see what you boys catch over here. Now, once again, there was supposed to be a settlement here. I don't want to get right up on it, because as you can see, I already expected there to be defenders. So let us attack. And hey, one more settlement for us to burn down. Why not? We're always trying to damage Clan Mosniak. They are our mortal enemies. I don't think any real creature uh, could be as hated by our clan as Clan Mosniak. Well, there we go. They're going to leave the settlement. And this unit definitely deserves a resting place. And we could potentially take this one back to the settlement. Get another unit. But that um, stone thrower is pretty vicious. Uh, the release yet, I don't believe it's been announced yet. At least it certainly wasn't announced um, during our first Let's Play. But um, if somebody does have the date, yeah, I guess put it. But I, I, don't, think, uh, I don't think it has been announced. Here we go, another decisive victory for our Barbarians, guys. And just look at this. They've got that armor-piercing skill. We're doing 140 damage to 21. It's just amazing. We're also getting a charge bonus. And all this while the enemy is actually in rough ground. So, I just think it's really great. I'm also starting to see some caves here. Maybe that's going to be part of, uh, of our mission, is to take a look at these caves. They are unexplored, so let's move in. We just found a Dragonhide Belt. Now, this actually um, gives plus 10 magic damage reduction. This would ideally be something uh, for one of our hero units. But for now, I'll let this unit right here, the Javelin Throwers, uh, use the Dragonhide Belt. Actually, you know what? I'm lying. I would prefer to give it to our Berserkers. I think they've earned it. So if any magic users think they're going to get one up on our glorious Berserkers, they're sorely mistaken. Right, let's get in here. Not a bad idea, see, to take a look um, through these areas. We've also revealed one weapon in the area, uh, which goes up here to our weapon upgrades. And this can allow us to upgrade to certain troops that before we were unable to upgrade to. So I'll see if we have any possibilities right now. We certainly have enough gold to upgrade troops, uh, but maybe not the right equipment. So let's take a look here as an example. No, I think for the missile units that won't work. What about, could we upgrade our berserkers even more? No, so to upgrade our Berserkers even more, we would need two Cleavers. Um, yeah, that's that's a bit much. Let's take a look here. Two armor to upgrade um, to Iron Javelins. Yeah, we're going to wait just a little bit for that. 
Well done, Dickie G. Wow. It's a lot of sliths. I should have moved even farther here. Wondering if we should even send reinforcements down this way, but uh, I don't really see the point. What I will do is keep on moving to the northwest. Uh, we can probably finish off those archers and loot this town at the same time. Let's move in. Okay, welcome. It is good to see a friendly face in these troubled times. What brings you here? We, we're just attacking their village. What are you talking about? Here we go. Thank you for welcoming us, kinsmen. We are on our way into the troll woods. Why, what is that you trouble you're talking about? Haven't you heard? The trolls have come from the forest and attacked our kin. We have been hunting those grayskins in return. If you're going into the woods, we will join you and end that plague. Let's kill trolls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we might have to kill these guys, boys. The way I see it, you behave more like a troll than the trolls themselves. We are here to make peace with them, not kill them. What? You're siding with them against your own kin. I won't have a traitor to his people walk from my stead. We'll strike you down like your filthy grayskin friends. Those ignorant fools. St stay true to your heart, brother, and the spirits will smile on you. We won't let those blinded by hate make us stray from our path. Yep, I knew that was going to unfortunately have to happen. Unfortunately, these troll killers that we're facing, they're berserkers. If you guys don't recall, this is quite a powerful unit that we're dealing with. Um, so what I'm going to do is, while I'm here, go ahead and burn this area down. But I think we might have to send some reinforcements to those guys in the northwest. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to handle that situation entirely on their own. All right, let's press the end button, see if there's any other units that haven't moved. No, we've moved everybody this turn. And let's end it. The troll killers are really going to ruin our our time here. All right, guys, we found some weapons. Now, this potentially could lead to an upgrade to a nice upgrade here. Let's take a look. We're so close yet so far. We need three armor currently, not three weapons. But see, if we actually manage to get imagine two more armor we can actually get a thane uh sort of i guess like a, a, a barbarian knight of sorts uh and over here we could get some heavy axe infantry if we get that three armor unfortunately we're just carrying weapons right now it's not sufficient um to get those upgrades and i wonder should we come in here and assist i think we'll decide in a little bit for now i'm going to take fullerson head east see if there's anything left to find over here and i do see some more trolls there are wild trolls here Careful, we don't know whether they are blinded by rage. His mind is not gone yet. I can try and talk to him. A deep rumbling sound that makes the ground tremble beneath your feet comes from Tyr and the trolls answer in kind. The exchange seems to go on for a while. They will fight the root killers in our forest with us, but they will not leave their forest. This is enough. Okay, hey, not bad. So I guess we should keep on searching the forest with these guys. And I have to say so far, guys, I've been really, really impressed with the size of the map here. I initially thought that the map we were starting on here was going to be much, much smaller. But as you can see, it just grows and grows and grows. I think it's it's absolutely great. Now, I will go ahead and rest these guys. But unfortunately, um, they've already taken one casualty. I don't believe he's coming back unless we head back to a city tile. Although we should get rid of these bats. Why not? That's, that's an interesting sound. <laughs> There we go. Beautiful. All right, and since we do have weapon upgrades, we can actually upgrade this guy to wolf killers. Now, we've had wolf killers before. These are missile infantry that use this wolf killer sling. They're pretty good. But what we haven't used yet are these trackers. And these are recon infantry that use a sax. No, not the instrument. Sax is a really, really sharp blade, kind of like a dagger. Um, that's a little bigger than a dagger uh, that you can use for slashing. So this is a consideration, but I'm not sure... I want to waste my uh, weapons just yet. I want to wait just a little longer and see if I find anything better. Uh, let me take a look at Ilsa. We're going to pop eyes over here. Uh, we may not be able to. 
Yeah, this might be a little too far. We could try to get Elsa a bit closer. That's not going to give us... Yeah, it's really not allowing us to see much more temporary units. So these units are essentially only going to be with us for this battle. Um, we can hire mercenaries after battles, things like that. I don't think we've hired a single mercenary yet, uh, but obviously that is an option. We've been to this cave, haven't we? No, we've got another unexplored cave. So we'll head there next turn. Wow, some of these archers are coming back for more, more punishment. But we've also got another dire bear that's attacked us. And that I did not not expect. Again, we're only getting 13 damage against this unit. That's, that's barely anything. Almost tempted to just retreat. Take a look here at the chat. Okay, Kara says, why would you kill wolves? Wolves are awesome. Windex says, looks like uh, this is a dialogue that's supposed to happen before you actually meet Tyr. Doesn't look updated for the fact you have one in the group. Okay, we're still, we are still playing the beta version. Um, if we have an issue like that, then we'll, we'll definitely sort it. But let's hope we can still find... Um, or investigate the disturbance, I should say. Yeah, over here is really the next portion of the map that we need to get to. So let's go ahead and head out there that way. Um, let's also go ahead and take a look at that cave system. Oh boy! Oh boy, boy, boy! That's serious. Humans! You are the defilers killing our root trees! I will crush you! Clansmen! How can you commit such foul sacrilege? Don't you know what you are doing to the forest? You have angered the spirits greatly. You think I am afraid of your vengeful spirits, witch? We have powerful magic to protect us. We will cut out the heart of this cursed forest once and for all. Man, Relkar of Misniak is not a friendly guy, not to mention that he's in a clan that absolutely hates us. Enough talk. You will pay for killing my root tree. I will grind you to dust. Seamen, what did I tell you? The Baliac have allied with the Greyskins, betraying their own people. We will kill the traitors and rid the Fariac of our kind. Now, one problem is we brought these uh, poor troll pups right here into enemy territory. Thankfully, the troll pups are not a hero unit. That being said, we want to be very careful here and start merging uh, or, or converging with all of our units in this area to kill Misniak Thane. Uh, and really, hopefully, finally put sort of the killing blow uh, in the coffin of the Misniak tribe. I'm not sure if we can accomplish that, but we are going to try. So here we go. Forward, men. And women. And women. And now I don't feel bad at all for retreating from the troll killers up here. I'm just... I mean, these guys are pretty, pretty savage in nature. Uh, they might just chase us. There might not be much of a much of a, a retreat, so potentially fighting it out or resting might be a better idea. So I'm gonna rest there. Let's see what else we want to do. Um, nope, I think we've got everybody we need. Um, we're just gonna have to wait till next turn. But I doubt they're gonna be very nice to our troll pups here. Luckily, the troll pups have pretty good defense. We might end up doing quite a lot of damage to the enemy here either way. Uh, but, of course, we're probably going to lose these poor pups. They just got the harassed um, sort of uh, status, which is going to lower their uh, damage potential. Oh, my goodness. I'm mostly concerned about Misniak here, their hero unit. Now, we've got to get Fellerson close to be able to yell at this enemy unit um, and actually go ahead, potentially affect their morale. We'll see whether or not we can do that. But I think, unfortunately, yeah, these Axemen are, are toast. Do 
Don't worry, friends. Reinforcements are on the way. And we can also use the Ancestor's Guidance unit here to give some morale uh, or armor to one of the other ones. So I'm going to give some to Fallerson here. Give him the Ancestor's Guidance. But I'm not sure I want to move forward with him yet. I think we want to converge every unit over here. We want to bring uh, the Ang Tur Angry Earth back to the fight, of course. And hopefully force the enemies to leave the cover here and actually move into the woods to try and attack us. Uh, if we can do that, I think we'll be well prepared for the enemy attack. Oh, look at this. They're not taking the bait so far. Hopefully this famished dire bear will end up killing those enemy troll killers for what they've done here. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Could we run away here? This would be hilarious if we managed to get away. Unfortunately, we burned down all our settlements, so we can't really help this guy. Uh, although we could let him rest just a bit. Thankfully, we can get the Linaris Spear units here eventually. Uh, now, I want to set up behind Fallerson here. Once we actually see the enemy, then we will use the Roar ability, but not before. As you approach the majestic tree, you are suddenly assaulted by a terrible cacophony of voices. You stumble back, your heart racing, and your head ringing. The spirits are angry. Death is in our forest. We must hurry. It's not a good sign. You pass by a blood oak and hear uh, creepy voices. Here we go. Push ahead, as always. Push ahead with Elsa. And with her skill, I'm also going to just pop a quick view over here just to see exactly what the enemy is doing and if we could uh, maybe sort of corner some of them. It looks like what they're doing now is actually healing up a bit. And while that is frustrating, I still am not going to get too close. Poor Spears. Okay. Closer and closer with Tear Angry Earth. I'm not going to pop any of the runes yet. Although, again, we could grow trees here to put some sort of... Uh, well, it's not really an artificial forest, but a very fast forest in this area. But I don't see the need right now. Um, I think what we want to try to do is use the Earth Armor against Fullerson. Let's go ahead and do that, and just we'll boost his armor even more. So this guy's got so many boosts. He's got the Ancestor's Guidance. He's got the Earth Armor. We've got a very, very strong Barbarian Leader at the moment. And I think we're going to have to get a little more aggressive than we'd like. Nice! They managed to retreat before they did anything. This is what I was hoping would happen, is that we could lure the enemy in. But let's see if it has the intended uh, effect, of course. Destroying the Misniot Clan is our complete pretty much our most important um, job here, at least initially. Now, we've got everything else going on. We've got strange happenings in the forest. I'm sure it's much more complicated than just the Misniot clan, but finishing them off will give us a chance to really focus on other things. Uh, so if we attack here, look at this decisive attack, guys. Attacking with our Berserkers. Um, 136, and the enemy would only do 46 damage, and the reason being, as you can see there, that's a flank attack with a charge bonus. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Beautiful. They didn't see us coming. And I think our Javelineers can also get a hit here. Not as much as I was hoping for, but I'll take it. And I wonder if I should get the Killing Blow or potentially go for something else. So we can actually upgrade to what I've been waiting for for a very long time, and that's going to be the Stag Lancers here. Um, it's a slight upgrade from our Stag Riders here. Let's do it, guys. I've been wanting to see how they perform in battle for a while, so now we've got a nice group of Stag Lancers, and we'll bring Tur Angry Earth down here as well. But I'm just not sure. Should we finish the unit off or go for another one? 
I guess we have to finish the unit off. First, I'll see if we can get the archers close enough, but I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. Well, one less group to worry about, at least. And once again, uh, I love these these boosts going to every other every uh, other unit in the area here. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't believe we have enough weapons and armor uh, to upgrade, but I always like to take a look at the possibilities here. The Wind Riders being the final upgrade for the Magic Skirmisher Cavalry. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna end here. Take a look here at the chat. Iberian Cavalry. Yeah, it's very similar to Iberian Cavalry. Sort of uh, focusing on javelins instead of, you know, throwing slings or, or missile, like, a, you know, uh, bows, uh, crossbows, this sort of thing. Most of the time, the wolves will be attacking you, so technically the barbarians are only defending themselves as owned by gravity. Ah, that is good to know. Orcs lives. Slavodiv. Tame the wolves. That's what I was hoping for. I was really hoping, because the thing is here, that uh, Elsa, she does have a connection with nature, right? So there are times when she's, she's been able to tame giants before, or I should say trolls. Maybe, just maybe, she would have been able to tame some wolves. But I agree, it was highly unlikely. All right, let's see, folks. Can we actually save this guy? I'm going to find it hilarious if we can. We're, we're going to try. We're, we're going to try. I mean, after all, at the end of this of this particular battle, if we can save him, um, then hey, that'll be absolutely great. We can build him up to strength, and uh, maybe he'll even get some boosts. Okay, well, in the turn, boys and girls, here we go. They're going straight for Tier Angry Earth, and we definitely cannot lose Tier Angry Earth. Misniak Thane is definitely a threat, and he's boosted his units. At this point, I am going to use the uh, Roar ability here of the bear. That should definitely terrify some of the enemy units. Maybe lower their fighting skill. I wish we had an AoE effect, like some sort of fireball or meteor that could land right there because it would be perfect. So let's go ahead. We're going to use the Mighty Roar. Now let's see if we can do a little additional damage. We could finish them off. All right, let's bring in the archers. You wouldn't think wildlings would be too much of a threat, but I think when you've got them, you know, this many wildlings, they could be a problem. Now, either way here, we are taking some damage with the stag lancers. So I'm not entirely sure if this is the wisest choice, um, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and attack. Yeah, in both cases, it's not looking great, but we'll attack this unit right here. Um, they do have defensive fire. I see why, because they're getting defensive fire from their own um, archers. So, you know, let's wait just a little bit. We'll still take defensive fire here with the javelin throwers, but I'd rather they get hit than the stag lancers. Sorry, guys. It's just the way it has to be. So this does consume an action, um, which means if we use it, we will not be able to attack with the angry earth this turn. Not so sure that's what I want to do. Let's instead get a kill with them. Send these guys through. And continue pushing forward with the rest of our men. Ah, uh, that's right. We have still a few units up here. Come on, man. You'll be all right.
All right, let's see how the enemy reacts to the angry Earth being close to them here. We might have to pull him back and get him out of the fight entirely um, if they continue to do damage. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to pull him out. It's unfortunate. I kind of wanted to keep him in, but uh, he's taken enough hits. At least he stopped the rest of our uh, army from taking too many hits. So we'll pull him back and just let him focus on his skills. Of course, the wolf decides to attack us at the worst possible time. So let's get Tear Angry Earth out of here fast. We don't want to lose that guy. Uh, I feel like maybe just ignoring that wolf. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the wolf. Stay away. Stay away from us. Wish I could move Tear Angry Earth a little farther back. Uh, for now, we'll go ahead and use the Ancestor's Guidance ability. And I'll put that on the Berserkers. I absolutely love these units. So close to a kill. In fact, we could potentially get that kill. No, we'll, we'll give it a rest. We'll give it a rest. So we could actually go right now for an attack on uh, Misniak Thane. Not sure I should, though. Let's do it. Let's do it. Not Misniak Thane, but we're going to go over here. I feel like any move we make right now is going to be quite risky. I'll go for this one, uh, just because it will do the most damage to the enemy this way. We've also broken that unit, but haven't completely shattered them. This will have to do. I did not expect our poor Berserkers to get harassed this badly. They were doing so well. Uh, now we're going to have to turn our attention entirely to one of their single units. They will not let up. These wolves will not stop attacking us. Now what we'll do with Tear Angry Earth first things first is go ahead and rest with him. But again, my main concern are the enemy units here. All right, let's get some shots. Broken. One more shot would absolutely completely break this unit. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with this frustrating group of wolves. All right, well, let's get rid of them. We won't have to deal with them again, at least. There we go. Not sure the Berserkers can do much in this particular situation. We'll push back. We'll hope that we can have them survive. And, wow, really lucky attack here. We're going to get a decisive victory and a kill against these wildlings. I did not expect us to be able to do that. Is there any potential upgrade here? No, we don't. We just don't have the armor or the weapons. Let's take a look here at the chat. How about a meteor rain? Oh, that's exactly what I would have hoped for in this situation. Absolutely. Somebody told the wolves to run for it. Let's see if the wolves can survive. Thank you for stopping by, Karas. Alright, let's jump back in, boys and girls. It's a hell of a fight here. I mean, 
we faced Clan Misniak in the past, but this is really more of a set-piece battle. Um, it's not just a tiny skirmish. Is that guy... Is he really still alive? My gosh, guys. Not only are they still alive, but since we left them over here in this beautiful shrine, they are almost back up to completely full strength. I am going to get these guys into battle soon, hopefully. And there we go. There is Misniak Thane himself, the enemy leader. The question is, if we can kill him, can we stop the rest of his army from putting up a fight? Maybe. Maybe that's the idea here. Unfortunately, we're getting a lot of disordered... Um, uh, situations here. They've also taken out our poor, poor berserkers. What did our berserkers ever do to anybody? So, guys, we could hire units at this point. Um, I'm not sure if we have a settlement to drop them at. I'm pretty sure we do. We we do here. Uh, mercenaries? That's a thought, but we would only keep them for one turn. Whereas if we grab one of the younglings, we can actually, you know, slowly but surely. Um, upgrade them. But as you can see here, we lack a hiring location. This is one of the reasons I didn't want to necessarily burn down those settlements. Had we kept a settlement, maybe we would have been able to uh, actually build something. And maybe the camp acts or counts as that. In fact, we'll take a look here. Castle settlement or war camp. So potentially taking that war camp, well, it's just a camp. I'm not sure if it's a war camp, uh, will allow us to get a few more units here. All right, let's see. So with Fall of Sun, I think we can kill Misniak Thane this turn, guys. Wow, he's not dead yet. He's really close to being dead. Definitely have to move this unit back. Um, we can move Ilsa the Blind over here. Doesn't seem like that would be very effective, honestly. Uh, either way, it is a decisive attack with the enemy not doing any damage to us. So, yeah, let's weaken them just a bit. Uh, I will go ahead and rest with the spears. And, yeah, I think that's all we're going to be able to do right this second. Although I am starting to see just how important the abilities in this game are. They really make the game, um, or give you a life and death decision. If, you, if we don't use those stone skin, skin abilities, uh, or Elsa's abilities for scouting the area, it's very, very hard to win. And it looks like the coward Misniak has run away. Uh, he's actually trying to escape here, knowing that the next blow we deliver to him will be a killing blow for sure. The question is, can we get past the enemy and still deliver that killing blow, and will that stop them? Uh, from targeting us. I don't know. But because of the zone of control here, we're going to have to get rid of this guy first. Let's go ahead and camp right now because this unit, the morale is really bad on all these units. Camp, camp, camp. This is just pretty much time for these guys to relax a bit. Bring Elsa forward. And even though it's not a lot of damage, again, we're not taking any damage in return. So I'll go ahead and hit this thing a few times. Just try and really hurt their Axemen. So over here, once again, we can boost uh, Earth Armor ability here on... Just want to take a look if he still has the other boost. He doesn't. So he does need the second boost to get sort of the full effects here. And I don't mind pulling back a little farther into the woods. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Especially if it means potentially killing this unit this or next turn. Alright, so by taking this camp, I still don't think this gives us the ability to purchase any units. Because I don't think it counts as a proper war camp. But I could be wrong. And if I am, I'm actually considering getting some mercenaries. Even though we can't build them up. Did they come out quite strong? No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. We simply lack the hiring location. Let's take a look here. Broken morale retreat. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking about, Salvadini, is try and get these guys um, in the woods, away from the enemy, give them some time to recuperate, and then get back in the fight. So right now, that's what we're doing here, is uh, essentially just trying to rest these guys
He's still retreat. Or no, he's resting. This is what I was worried about. So uh, their leader is actually resting right now. He's trying to win back uh, all that health. Because we did damage him pretty badly. Thankfully, uh, this good old troll can break most of the enemy charges. Okay, morale seems to be doing pretty well now. Now the question is, can we finish some of these units off for good? I think we need to. Could finish this guy, potentially also finish them off. Let's see. Well, Elsa the Blind knows what she's doing, for sure. Again, a decisive attack here. Yeah, I'll go for it. I hate to say it, I'm not a fan of the Javelin units. I'm just really not a fan. I couldn't tell you why. I was hoping we'd get a certain kill there, but it looks like we're not. Nonetheless, um, we can damage these units pretty dramatically. And either force them to pull back or consider another approach here. Yeah, while we're at it, we'll also push these Stag Lancers out over here. There's no reason for them to be stuck behind the lines. Perfectly capable units. And keep on showing up, boys. Come on. Yeah, once again, they're going to pull back. That seems to be their standard approach. Attack, pull back, attack, pull back. And that's exactly what they should be doing. Our heroes are getting a pretty nasty beating here. I don't want that unit getting its strength back. I really don't. I'm, I'm tempted to almost put uh, Failsen here in danger by killing that unit. But is that the wise choice? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to try a different approach. I don't know if this will work. We're still going to take some damage for doing it. Yes! Beautiful! The beautiful light magic skirmish cavalry were able to crush that unit. I didn't want them regenerating any sort of health. Now, this unfortunately does consume our moves, so I'm not so sure I want to do a um, mighty roar with Fellerson. Actually, in this case, I think we might need to rest him, or we can just keep attacking um, Misniak Thane. But I'm going to keep on going for these smaller units for now. I really think this is the biggest threat. Let's just go ahead and rest. I'm so tempted to do so many different unit uh, moves right now, but I think I'm going to have to rest him. Just going to have to rest him. Because we could potentially do a lot of damage here. Hmm. So what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to give Ancestor's Guidance. I'm going to boost him with Elsa the Blind skill. I'm not going to rest. I'm going to do a decisive attack. This is really risky, but I think with that uh, Ancestor skill, uh, also the boost from our troll friend, maybe that'll be enough to defend him against any uh, enemy attacks here next turn. Nice. Little defensive attack against Misniak Thane. We really have a chance here, but we've got to go all in on this guy. Come on, kill this usurper. Not sure that's going to work out very well. Hmm. Let's first see if we can do some. How much damage we can do uh, with just Elsa and the rest of these uh, folks? Or actually, I'll take Elsa and give um, the Angry Earth a boost as well with Ancestor's Guidance. He's going to get that defensive bonus, which is kind of annoying. That's all right, though. Boom. 
Watch him run away this turn. He's absolutely going to run away this turn if we don't get this shot. I've got to take the shot, guys. I know it's a risky one, but this will allow us to kill Misniak Thane once and for all. And all the glory going to Fallerson. It also broke the morale of some of these units over here on the east. Though it doesn't look like they're ready to give up the fight just yet. They're still willing to fight and die for their clan, I believe. Let's see if we can't put a stop to that right away. with the javelin throwers relax rest and the turn off they go they're definitely running away somewhere over here there's still more enemies though i mean the amount of actual uh clan misniak uh, units is incredible all right let's finish them off once and for all axemen it's about time for you to show off your skills here. With Falderson, I'm going to rest. It's about time uh, he gets some R&R &R and I'm trying to chase those units. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, but I want to find out where they're going. So I am going to chase with some of these units. Let's take a look over here. Seems clear. There could still be things over here, of course. But now what we have to do is kill the defilers, and I'm assuming that all of these guys are technically defilers. Could get a nice shot there. Well, why not? Yeah, let's do it. primarily because the enemy's got really nice defensive fire, although we could also send uh, Fellerson in for this attack, but I will actually send in the Angry Earth. Oh, we actually managed to retreat. I think that's a first for us, seeing the enemy retreat like that. You know what? I lied. I'm following up with Fellerson to kill these guys. No one escapes us. Also, they could potentially be running to some sort of base to uh, increase their their power, their damage. I don't want that happening. Chase him down, boys. Go for a direct attack here on these boys with uh, the Angry Earth. Because the archers, we should have done this before because the archers are actually getting some pretty good defensive missile fire on us. But after a few volleys here, I think they're finished. Sure enough, we get an instant decisive victory here. Um, or we could try and attack this unit. I, I can't help myself. I'm going for the decisive victory with Fallerson. Although I think just to be safe, I'll take Elsa and uh, once again give him this awesome Ancestor's Guidance skill. Again, risky. Almost down. Get this guy over here just to prepare for that attack. And of course, we'll keep on heading east, as that's where I believe the last of the enemies are. Here we go. Oh, they've retreated. Wow. <laughs> Actually succeeded in a retreat. Now, obviously, if there were a lot of Musniak troops around, um, then we would be careful about being here out in the open. But we have slaughtered this clan, and hopefully for good. I'm sick of dealing with these warriors. Um, they have just tried to stifle our progress at every turn, and look at that! We've got some ruins. That looks promising. I'm gonna head in over here. And... Beautiful! Beautifully done there! Uh, we also got some treasure out of the ruins. Uh, I think that's just gonna be gold treasure, 65 gold. We've already got quite a lot of gold as is. Um, so I'm not ecstatic, but perhaps later that will come in handy. 
All right, I think just one more unit, if I'm not mistaken, right, guys? One of these guys over here in the northeast. There they are. And that's it. That was the last of them. We have stopped their meddling, and they paid the price for it. We are not done. Tracks show more defilers gone deeper into the woods. Voices have become quieter, but I can hear them call me for help. Will you fight the other humans in my forest with me? We must, brother. We cannot let this terrible sin continue. I agree. The Misnyak filth have more in mind than destroying the troll woods. We need to stop whatever they are planning. But we have to march back to our clan land soon, so we dare not tarry. Tyr, if you help us in this, I ask you to follow us and fight for us. Will you give me your word to do so? I told you, human. Trolls do not follow a leader. But you have my word. If you help me stop the tree killers, I will be at your side in future battles. My blood oak is gone. I have no root place left anyway, so my death will not be mourned. It is settled then. Strip the Misniot dogs of their weapons. We can use them well in the fight ahead. Nice, baby. I love it. I also have to say something so far. Um, one thing that I just adore about this game is that battle took, what, an hour and a half? You're certainly going to get your money's worth there. Um, and this is just one mission of the campaign. After completing a battle, we receive some gold uh, based on the leftover region wealth, and units that suffered casualties are restored to full health. That's another reason I wanted to save that unit no matter what. I didn't want to lose uh, one of our most important units. Hear me, warriors of Clan Baliak. You have fought well, and I know you are tired from battle. But the Misniak have gone deeper into the forest, and we will need to face them again soon. Rest for a moment. And wallow me to the Battle of Heartspire. So, guys, the Battle for Heartspire, the Sacred Heartspire Mountain, stands alone in the Troll Woods. Yeah, that seems like an imposing um, actual goal, of course. But one thing I want to do is I want to save just to make sure that we don't lose our progress here. I want to make sure that we are completely doing everything here. Uh, thank you, Windex. So, because of the casualties, we do lose a little bit of experience here. Um, I guess that's the downside. Even though we get some of the units back, um, because we lost so many in that particular battle or in that unit, we're going to have a little XP drop. Let's take a look here a little bit more. Hello, Pino Gull. Tin Flash. Now, let's see if we can use the gold to replenish the existing ranks. Oh, I guess they're already here. Now, the question is, can we purchase more units? Or are we full up on units? I believe we can get two more units here. So, huh. We've already got essentially three maidens. Um, well, they used to be maidens. I'm thinking that now we can go for some more younglings. We certainly need some more berserkers again. So I'm going to grab a group of younglings here. Uh, and another group of younglings. We've got weapons but no armor. Could we upgrade to something else? We could go ahead and get these guys to Berserkers, or one of them anyway. And I need my Berserkers, so I'm going to do that. But we'd have to wait until next, uh, the next mission to be able to get potentially enough weapons to upgrade this next unit of, uh, or up to Berserkers, of course. So far, that is my favorite, <laughs> my favorite actual unit in the game. I I'm loving them. Let's take a look here. All right, let's jump in to the battle for Heartspire. The Heartspire is a lone mountain range deep in the heart of the Troll Woods. It is considered a holy site by both humans and trolls. This is where you suspect the Misniak Defilers are headed, and you have agreed to follow them there and stop them. Tyr, where do we go now? Can you sense the Defilers' presence in your woods? I can hear the voices calling. The humans have gone to Heartspire where the forest roots are deepest. We must hurry. They are doing... something. Something. What does that mean? I will not send my warriors deeper into these woods because the Misniak dogs are doing something. I cannot tell you what I don't know, human. We need to get closer to the Heart Spire to learn more. It is difficult to march through the deep woods. We better so set off now. All right, let's do it, boys and girls. These woods are endless. We have been marching for hours. And we finally arrived. The heart spire is close. The human defilers are here as well. I can feel them. Hurry then, we must stop them. Not so fast, sister. Our band is tired from this march. If we attack now, we might not be rested enough to fight well. And if we tarry any longer, the defilers will have time to prepare and pillage these woods. My decision stands. 
I'm not sure I want to march immediately. I think we should be careful. Um, so I am going to go ahead and say we will gather our strength and go. Unfortunately, that is going to damage the woods quite a bit. A wise choice, Fellerson. It's also going to probably upset the trolls because we're essentially letting their woods get torched. Uh, but you got to do what you got to go. You got to do what you got to do. I just hope you're not too late now. Fellerson, I've called on some of my kin to help us. They will fight on our side. More trolls? I don't trust them. When have we done their work for them? Who is to say the grain skills won't just the grayskins won't just kill us? Enough of that. If Tyr says they will aid us, we should be glad of their help. Hey, I think that's great. Um, and waiting a little extra time, I'm not sure it's going to make a massive difference. Uh, but we'll wait and see. I'm going to put Elsa back here. I really want to keep our heroes in the in the back initially. Our missile units can obviously go here in the fr in, in the uh, back. Whereas our combat units can kind of go in the front. All right. So let's take a look. Um, I think we'll drop. You know, we'll keep tier here. Send the deployment there. So first things first, what I always like to do in these battles, let's grab Elsa. Definitely use our spirit vision to take a look and see if any enemies are waiting for an ambush, first of all. Here we go. And sure enough. See, had we just marched in there, that would have been a pretty easy ambush. So let's just get across... Now, this is not saying there are no enemies still in these woods. I'm sure there could potentially still be some foes here. But for now, we are going to push forward here. I don't necessarily want to send this unit, especially not the javelins, right there in the path of the enemy attack. So let's instead take um, the uh, Tier Angry Earth here. He's pretty strong. I think he can take most of the poundings here. And the next question is, what, do we want to go directly for an attack? I don't think so. What we will do is just get all of our units across the river. could also pop some of um, Fellerson's abilities, but right now I don't see the point, just because there aren't many enemies here and their their distance is pretty great. Even putting our boys here is a little bit risky, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Tier Angry Earth, and I'm going to call up the Earth Armor skill right there on those units, just in case they get hit. They're going to have some defense from Tier's skill point, uh, and it should be able to protect them for the most part, I think. All right. So they certainly would have taken a nastier hit there had we not used the skin, but the enemy is definitely pushing through at this point, um, really being as aggressive as possible and meeting us here at the river. A lot of spear units here. And thankfully, our forces is not all cavalry, but disordered things like that are never good. And we've actually got an enemy Thane that is once again attacking us here. So their leader, as opposed to being at the very end of this mission, seems to be popping up quite quickly. Uh, what I think I want to do is actually move through the woods here. Let's see if we get a flank attack here. So we do get a flank attack against the wildlings. I think that's, that's a no-brainer. We'll go ahead and smash here. Could have potentially, though, gotten a flank, a flank attack against the Thane. Although I think he's a bit f close to home uh, to do that. Probably just run back and get some support immediately. Now, one thing we must do. I'm very sorry, uh, Berserkers, but you guys have to head back and heal up. And again, wouldn't generally go on those, um, those particular river tiles. But here it's just the one chance we have to actually get a nice little attack. And let's move on through here with the troll pups. 
Now again, since they are actually in the woods, they get a missile damage reduction, but we're not throwing any missiles at them here. So we should be just fine. And if we throw a missile here, it wouldn't necessarily be a great idea because they get that missile damage reduction. But I think just to lower their potential uh, for damage later, we'll go ahead, hit them a little bit because we're not going to be hit uh, in return. Let's see. All right. Do we want to go for the kill on the wildlings, or should we jump over and start dealing with some of these maidens? Uh, I think we have to go for the wildlings, unfortunately. There we go. Beautiful, baby. This is what we're talking about. Our squat size is one. So another thing, um, just in case, I don't know how it would change from one to two. Potentially, if you had, you know, several mounts or something. In this case, for instance, we've got a squad size of one because this is a hero. If we jump over here to our Berserkers, three of five. This is the troubling part. We've now lost two of the members of this Berserker group. And again, we got to get to a settlement to actually upgrade that to a full group of Berserkers again. Not exactly the greatest situation in the world. All right, let's take our friend here, the Angry Earth. I'm really tempted to go back here behind the enemy, but I think it's really risky. <laughs> like, really, really risky. We're just going to do a standard attack. Now, over here, a standard attack would be a terrible idea, again, because they have that force bonus. Hmm. I think for now, just keep these guys back. Keep them away from the enemy, as far away as possible, of course. I want to get one piece of armor so bad. All I want are some nice axemen. This would be more than enough. All right, let's charge on through. And again, there, it's going to be a scalemate. The only reason I'm still going for the attack is because the enemy is already pretty badly damaged, and I'd love to get this enemy completely disordered. Let's... Should we use uh, the vision yet? I don't think so. I think I just want to use Ancestor's Guidance. Um on the most, pretty much our, our unit that's most prone to getting attacked this turn, and I think that's going to be this unit right here, but they already have um, a bonus defense from our troll friend here. Do we want to give them another one? Yeah, why not? Let's give them an additional defense there with Ancestor's Guidance. And end the turn. Okay, the Thane is definitely itching for a fight. Oh. Go for an immediate attack here against the Thane. But one thing we have to do is get our younglings back this way quickly. Camp out here for a bit rest and recuperate essentially do the same here with the berserkers although i'm not sure well eh, with the berserkers we could still gain some health we might as well again the roar skill here just not sure it's going to be very effective what about attacking that thane or attacking these units as they're retreating uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do just that. So we're going to chase these units. There's also an enemy settlement back here. Uh, one thing I definitely want to do on this map is I don't necessarily want to destroy that settlement. We've got plenty of gold. Sure, we could find other stuff in there, but I'd much rather have a place where we can hire other units when we need them. All right, here we go. Attacking the Thane. I think we, at the very least we can force this guy to retreat this turn. All right, the Thane is harassed. Now, I'm not sure how that disordered... Um, did that disorder... That somehow disordered uh, Tur Angry Earth. I'm not sure how that happened, because we didn't actually attack the Thane with him. The question is, do we want to go over here and attack these guys in the woods, or keep hitting the Thane? You know what?
Not sure that was the wisest choice right there. Okay, here we go with Elsa the Blind. I'm gonna fire over a little spell here. It's nothing too special. But again, just reminding that Thane that we can take him out if we need to. I would guess that he's probably going to run back to this area uh, this coming turn. But I could be mistaken. Let's jump into the chat here see what you guys are saying. Ah, interesting. Thank you, Wendek. That is really good to know because I was, I was really sad about my Lost Berserkers. Yes, Wendek. I've actually gotten that um, as well. Wendek mentioned that uh, similar to Battle for Westnoff. Um, I, I mean, when I was much younger, that was sort of the, the game I would play that reminded me, at least, of Fantasy General. Yeah, Karasu, that's a great question. So again, it's, um, you do, okay, like, I think somebody, people mentioned here there is no base building, but I think it's important to mention that while there's no base building, there are settlements that you can capture. You can choose to burn those settlements down, or you can choose to keep them. If you choose to keep those settlements, then you can potentially hire units at those settlements again, which is obviously a huge bonus. Now, guys, I typically wouldn't do this, but... I am going to charge out with the Berserkers just because I know we'll get a kill on this Thane. It's still an unfavorable victory because our guys are probably going to get killed next turn, uh, but I can't help myself. I see a, a chance to kill a Thane. I'm taking it. There we go. And we also broke the morale of some enemy units. The question is, can we stay alive for just one more turn with these guys? I sure don't know. Could keep attacking. Oh boy, look at this. That actually opened up a world of possibilities. All right, so usually, guys, I would be telling you to not be crazy like me and, and attack everything you see, but occasionally attacking uh, a few different things actually opens things up in this game. I love that. And unfortunately, we have used up all our attacks there with those units, so we're going to have to wait. What about this guy? Look at that. Actually, he ran past the town. I thought he would run to the town uh, to try and save himself. Oh, you sneaky little reindeer, you. Fair enough. He didn't actually take the town. He just kind of attacked and ran. Fillerson's got to be careful. But I'm not, I'm not under the impression that he's really under any serious danger. Even if we take a shot here, we can always have him uh, camp out next turn, and we can let um, Tear Angry Earth boost him with his skill. If I see how much mana do we have left, maybe not enough mana for this skill. Maybe not. No, we need mana cost of two, so we do want to be careful. We don't have unlimited mana here. I think potentially we, we could eventually get it. Enemy is completely routed. Despite having quite a lot of men here, they are routed. And again, once again, we get a really cool boost here with magic. If the enemy unit has low morale, then your magic damage is boosted. I guess that makes sense. I mean, if you're running in terror and suddenly you see spells being cast all around you, you're going to be absolutely mortified. And I think that's certainly the case here. And we're going to chase through the woods here, going on a hunting expedition. Only one group of javelins can survive in this world. And we could also go ahead and attack with these pups. Maybe try to kill a few more enemies. Why not? Let's go for it. But now I really do want to try and uh, save our, our berserkers. Again, I don't think I want to burn this place down, guys. Although this place... Now, wait, let me take a look. So, this is a tower. This is a town. Um, yeah, so the tower, we can't... We could burn the town down, but again, I want to keep one town around just in case. We're probably going to end up needing it anyway. So, that stays. The thing we want to do is go over here and let these boys rest. They need it. They really don't want any part of this fight. Although, as you can see, they've got some more towns out here. Um, this is why we can't let 
really anybody get away because they, they will eventually get to these other towns. They'll try to uh, recruit more men, etc. So obviously the goal here is to stop them before that occurs. Now one thing I want to do is we definitely need to let Fellerson get some rest, but he's got an actual upgrade for his skill tree. The supply limit upgrade is definitely an interesting upgrade. I wanted to get the bigger pockets though, so that we could give him even more items. We did give him the health boost, and the rally boost is also pretty good. And I'm starting to think that the deeper we get into this game, the more important that rally boost is going to be. Our people are going to get terrified, so this really allows him to pretty much call the units together get that morale back up in the meantime though i'm gonna let this guy rest he desperately needs it and let's worry about the rest of our units so let's take a look here see if there's any easy targets i think there's definitely going to be some easy targets nearby but i'm going to start off just with firing over some missiles and even though this is a decisive attack i think we've got to get ilsa a better staff it's just not really doing much damage to be honest uh yeah let's put him here to defend fallerson and again, 17 damage that we were going to take in that attack. That's fine, as long as we're trading it out for 40. Let's bring up the Glorious Berserkers. And we can actually go ahead and finish off this group with the Troll Pups. They will not know what's coming. Here we go. Excellent. Another unit down. Another decisive attack here with the Javelin Throwers, but not too much damage. Yeah, I think we can, we can completely crush these guys. And we should certainly do that if we're able to. Okay. And it's another tower. It's a stalemate. We could have potentially avoided that, but what is this? What witchcraft is this? The dead have risen from their graves to fight us? The ancestors must be angry with us. No, they have no spirits inside them. These are soulless monsters, summoned by some vile sorcery. Empty shells filled with an unholy power. The defilers do not even respect the graves of our ancestors. But how can we fight what's already dead? Smash in their skulls and break their bones. These things have no place among the living. My goodness, guys, this is our first group of skeleton infantry. And I always knew, especially the original uh, Fantasy General, there were a number of different races. So glad to see the race of the undead uh, present in the game here. We definitely want to be very, very careful. And frankly, I think even the enemy in Clan Misniak is going to be absolutely terrified by the presence of these guys. So we'll have to see. Well, I hope they're not working for them. I doubt it. But if they are, um, we're definitely going to have to do something about that. Now, yes, Fellerson is already resting. So at this point, we will end the turn. They're going to go for our troll pups. I really can't wait to upgrade those javelins. The next weapon or armor we get, I think it's going to go to upgrading javelins. Wow! They stopped at nothing there. Those skeletons immediately went for the kill. Just right off the bat going for the kill here. We might have to pull out of this tower area. But look at this, guys. Wow. Yeah, we're definitely going to pull back. Now, the real question is, will these skeletons attack the enemy for us? That's what I really want to know. Yeah, I think I'm pulling back to the settlement. Have this guy rest up. Air Force says Svodobny. Indeed. Take care. All right, guys. Well, we are coming to the end of the stream here. I want to thank everybody for stopping by um, and sharing your thoughts. I hope you guys have seen um, some of the improvement, especially with using the abilities since the last stream. But obviously, every time I play this game, I learn a little bit more. And I think that's really the mark of a good game. Just, you know, every single time you play, something a little different happens. You get a few more points as you sort of move forward. Um, but I'm just loving the abil those abilities. I'm not usually one for defensive abilities. But the defensive abilities in the last mission probably saved us. 
we would not have been able to beat that massive group of enemy clansmen. It just wouldn't have been possible. But thanks to the abilities um, of our troll and, of course, of uh, Falnir himself, it's going pretty, pretty good. Thank you, Lanzer. Thank you, Grey Knight. I certainly hope everybody has fun. Um, so far, guys, I don't have any information regarding the um, release of this game. Um, I'm fairly sure that um, some members of the development team are here. I don't know if you guys want to ask any questions, um, and I'm not sure if they're ready to give a release date. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I am Agrippa Maxenius. I think most of you are familiar with me. If you ever want to go ahead and find me, then you can always find me over here. I'll likely be uploading some Fantasy General 2. I am loving this game. But maybe I'll go for an even bloodier approach and just try and slaughter all the giants. I still haven't decided. Right now, I really like the giants as allies. They are amazing, uh, especially in their ability to just charge the enemy and just wipe them out completely. Let's take a look here, see if there are any questions here. Thank you for the advice to Wendex. That was awesome. Wendex, I should say. Well, guys, so in the next episode, in part three of our Let's Play, um, it's going to be uh, interesting because, again, we are facing the undead. You know, initially, we thought we were just going to have to deal with an enemy clan. That was a big problem, of course. After the enemy clan, we're dealing with trolls. Now we're dealing with skeletons, and I can already tell that this is going to get even more challenging. I believe we have four actual Let's Play episodes, each at two hours each scheduled this week. So if I can make it to the end of that without dying a single time, I'm going to be very, very happy. <laughs> Thank you again for watching, guys. Oh, that's good to hear, Wendek. Awesome. And I will catch you next Wednesday, guys, for the next part of our Let's Play here. I'm also going to make sure to go ahead and save this. Uh, I don't want to forget to save here. Let's go ahead and do that. Just save. And actually, we'll put another name here. We'll put this King of the Trolls. I think it's appropriate. And besides, these trolls, they're not so bad. Well, not most of them anyway. Thank you so much, guys. Catch you on the next one.